Hi everyone, my name is Yuna Biagioni and in this art journal tutorial I'll be showing you how I made this mixed media portrait called Contemplation. I'm starting off by sketching the head using a charcoal pencil. This is going to be a three-quarter view portrait. I'm keeping the lines very loose. It's okay if they're not right yet. I can draw and redraw them many times and in the end this will all just add to the texture. I'm holding the pencil almost at the end which helps me to keep the lines fluid and loose. With my charcoal pencil I start adding in some shading. Now I start putting in some larger areas of shading. I'm using a piece of charcoal, holding it on the side so I get broad marks. I'm not afraid to apply large areas of dark color because I know I can blend the charcoal later and smoothen it out. Now I start blending the charcoal with a paper stump to create a smoother shading. You can do this also with your fingers, but the oil of your skin isn't very good for the paper, so it's better to use something like a paper stump. Although I must admit, sometimes I still like to use my fingers. Here I start adding in the background with my charcoal. I'm using a white chalk pastel to create the highlights. defining the mouth with the charcoal pencil. I usually don't draw a typical lip shape, but just use lines, shades and highlights until the mouth looks right to me. Which can take quite a while, because every little alteration to the mouth can give it a completely different look and emotion. I want to make this part of the face very dark, to create a more dramatic effect for the shading. It looks very bold at first, but as you will see, I will keep blending and smoothening it until it looks right to me. You can also use the tip of the charcoal to create a thicker line than with the charcoal pencil. I have decided not to fill in the hair, but just create lines at the borders to suggest the flowing of the hair and leave the rest to the viewer's imagination. Here I keep working on the shape of the nose, using loose lines until it looks okay to me. I'm using this line as a reference to see if the angle of the head is right. I'm 
playing with lines here. This is both to add some character to the face and to emphasize the angle of the head. It's always a challenge to get through the ugly face of a painting. You can see I'm still struggling with the chin and jawline. So then I decided to take a bold move and add a strong area of shading, which finally gives the right definition to the side of the face. At this point I took a break, to take some distance and see how I would proceed. Initially, my idea was to add in acrylic paint in this phase, but the drawing already had so much expression, thanks to all the shading and line work, that I wanted to continue in this direction. And so I decided to stick to the charcoal and soft pastels, only adding a little bit of color. Which then I didn't like, but as you can see, it's easy to erase the pastel and add another color on top of it. Here I'm using a pastel in a grey color to create intermediate shadings which give the portrait a smoother look. Here I'm using a black pastel and blending it with a paper stump to make the deep shades even darker than the charcoal can. As you can see, the pastels are very opaque, so it's easy to apply a white highlight over a dark shade. I'm adding in lots of free and playful lines, which give the face expression and character. using a white pastel for the hair. You can't really see it on the video, but it adds a lot of texture. Some finishing touches here and there. And then the portrait is finished. I'm loving all the lines and texture in this portrait. I'm calling it contemplation because of the dreamy expression of her face. 